oftentimes we'll have to lay out points for a building or some other structures. To do that, we can go to points and go to point creation tools. That'll open up the point creations dialog box. If we use the drop down, we can choose what our default values are going to be. So here on the points creation tool, I can give it a default description. So I'm going to call these BC for building corners. Here it's going to ask me, do I want to do them manually or do I want to do them automatically or automatic object? In this case, I just wanted to automatically grab BC, so I'm going to do automatic. I'm not using point names, so that can be none. And then for elevations, I'm just going to do it automatic. So if I pick a point, it's not going to have elevation to it. Once I got those set up, I can then use whatever the layer that I want. So right now it's set to use current. I could change that if I wanted to. So once I have everything set, I can come up here and I can set manually. So I can then snap to my corner points and then X marks the spot with a little circle. If I don't want to hit each point and I have uh, the rectangle here, I could always add the points using a different method. So there happens to be one called polyline vertices automatic. So I could go ahead and select that one and then select my polyline and then it's going to add all the four points for me automatically. But I noticed that after I press enter, my points went away. If I go to my point groups, I can see that I have trees and then no display. So my building corner shots are being absorbed by other things. So I want to create one just for my point group for building corner. So I'm going to do new. I'm going to call it BC. And then I'm going to include it using raw description match and I can do BC and then an asterisk. If I want to, I could always select it in the drawing. So I could isolate the layer they're on and then do the selection set in drawing and select the ones that I needed. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then once I do that, it's gonna show up here. But I noticed that the st style isn't what I want for the labels. So I can go into BC, go to properties. I can do X circle for the point style and I can change the style to be point number only because that's all, what all I'm really interested in for this point group. So I can hit OK and then I can see the label show up. I can then click on the square grip and then move them away if I need to drag them away from what I'm labeling. You could also rotate them so I could hover over here and rotate either the point or the label in the marker or the marker. So I'm going to rotate both the label and the marker, and then I can see that it moves away from it. And now it looks a little bit better. And so that's how you can add points to a polyline, either by manually clicking it, or you can use the polyline vertices automatic, and it'll automatically add a vertices, a point at each vertices of the polyline selected.